Good morning, everyone. I am Harish Shikas from CS Bank. Today, I am discussing about powers and functions of Indian Parliament. What is Parliament of India? The Parliament of India is the supreme legislative body of Republic of India. It is the bicameral legislature composed of President of India and two houses, the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. And now we will discuss about powers and functions of Indian Parliament. The Parliament's powers and functions can be divided into several categories, namely, first one is legislative powers and functions. The Parliament has power to make laws in state legislature in certain situations. When upper house of Parliament possesses a resolution in that direction, during state of national emergency, when more than two states ask Parliament to take action, when international treaties, conventions and agreements need it, when President soul is in force. And second one is executive powers and functions. The executive consists of President, Vice President and Prime Minister along with Council of Ministers. The Parliament has authority to reject any bill that is presented to Cabinet. The motion of no confidence can be used by Parliament to remove government from power. The Council of Ministers is in office until Lok Sabha give it takes confidence. The dura duration of our cut motions, adjournment motions, in censor motions and other procedural techniques are used by Parliament to exert control over executive. The Parliament exercises authority over government through these committees. When it comes, the third one is financial powers and functions. When it comes to finances, Parliament is final authority. Executive can't spend a penny without Parliament approval. Cabinet prepares union budget which is then presented to Parliament for approval. The Parliament exercises budgetary and post-budgetary control over government. All tax imposition plans must be authorized by the Parliament. And next is electoral powers and functions. It constitutes electoral college of president's election along with members of state assembly. All the parliament members participate in election of vice president. And next is judicial powers and functions. It has authority to impeach president when there is violation of constitution by him. All also has power to impose vice president. Prime and High Court Judges, Supreme and High Court Judges. It has power to punish its members or outsiders for violating the privilege, violating its privilege or disrespect. The power of Parliament to pen, penalize its members is also rarely challenged in court. The next is amending powers and functions. Only Parliament has power to propose constitutional amendments. Both houses of parliaments has equal authority when it comes to changing the constitution. Amendments can't be accepted, must be accepted by both houses to be effective. Uh, apart from these powers, there are other powers like parliament has authority to change, reduce or expand state or university boundaries and many important issues are discussed and debated in the sessions of parliament.